Hello there, Brian from Classroom Guidance joining you today with an essential video on the CAO change of mind process. What you need to consider to make informed decisions. If you're invested in keeping up with the latest on career guidance, hit that subscribe or follow button now. Every year we hear wild tales of hasty decisions made during the change of mind period. Stick with me in this video and I'll guide you through making a change of mind that's strategic, not one that sends you into a tailspin. From early May to July the 1st, the CAO graciously allows you to tweak your course selections at no cost. Feel free to shuffle your choices or add or drop courses as much as you like. Just remember, this doesn't apply to restricted courses, those requiring additional assessments like interviews or tests. However, there's an exception. If a restricted course shares the same assessment process as the one you've already chosen, you might be in luck. In such cases, it's wise to touch base with the CAO or the institution for clarity. So who benefits from the change of mind facility? A significant number of applicants do. Some might only now feel ready to make their course selections or want to include new options from the CAO alert list that have caught their eye. This list is worth a look. It often features cutting edge courses that might demand lower points because they're not as well known yet. Careers Portal have a neat facility on their site too. Just go into search courses, then go down to course types section on the left and select CAO, then special features section and select new courses. Here you can view all the new courses that have come on stream this year and there's 73 of them. So it's well worth a look. Beyond the alert list, some applicants are revisiting their courses due to change of personal circumstances, financial considerations, or shifts in industry or economic forecasts. Exercise caution here, it's tricky to predict what the job market will look like next year, let alone in four years time. And if you're worried about CAO points or leaving cert grades, don't make any rash decisions. You don't have concrete results yet, but still arrange your courses by genuine order of preference. If you're contemplating changes, here's what you do. Navigate to cao.ie, click on my application, log in with your CAO number, date of birth and password. You can update personal details, but not your name or date of birth. You need to email the CAO for that. To adjust courses, simply change level eight courses or change level six, seven courses. You can add new ones maybe. Fill up all 10 choices, it's cost effective. Confirm your changes and they will be saved in the system. You'll receive an email acknowledgement, check it thoroughly for any errors. And that's it. If you found this guide helpful, please like, share, follow or subscribe for more insightful content. Thanks for watching.